This lesson is titled Further Addition and Subtraction of Integers, and the reason for this is just a little bit more advanced than the uh, previous topic. Anyway, we're going to start by talking about something called a double negative. It's something we use in the English language, and we've got a few examples. First one saying, there ain't no way I am doing that. It's called a double negative because there's two negative parts in the statement, the no and the ain't. And the saying goes that a double negative makes a positive. So when we say there ain't no way I'm doing that, I'm actually say, saying I am doing that. It becomes a positive statement. Looking at the next one, we have another double negative. I don't got no time. Two negatives make a positive. So this one is really saying I do have time. The third statement also has two negatives. There aren't no people behind there. So we're really saying there are people behind there. So how does this relate to mathematics? Well, I'm going to go to my next screen here and we're going to talk about subtracting a negative. And after we've done that, we're going to talk about adding a negative. So what is subtracting a negative? Well, let's take two numbers. Let's take two. And our second number is going to be a negative number. Let's have it as negative three. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the subtraction symbol between these two numbers. So we're going two minus negative three. And it's important that we remember that these two signs here are quite different. One is the subtraction sign, and the other one is the negative sign because that is negative three there. And there's something you quite often see, in fact, we see it a lot, that mathematicians do. So you can tell the difference between the subtraction and the negative sign. And what they do is they go two minus, and then they put the negative three in brackets. So you know that whatever is inside those set of brackets there is a negative number and not saying minus three or subtract three. Anyway, moving on from this notation, when you have two minus signs next to each other, let's call them a double negative, just like English, they become a positive. It actually becomes two plus three. So both of these equal five. Let's move on to the right side, which is a little different. It's not a double negative, but we're going to start with the same two numbers, two and negative three. And just like before, we're going to put our negative number in brackets. And this time, instead of subtracting, we're going to add the two numbers. Now, in the previous example, the two negatives made a positive. In this example, when you've got a plus sign and a minus sign next to each other, it changes into minus. This becomes two minus three, which is negative one. So both of these are equal to negative one. Now, as a little side note, I'm just going to make a little section below. I want to talk to you about something, a, a very common mistake that I see my students do. So we've learned, we were discussing 2 minus negative 3, and we said that was the same as 2 plus 3, because a double negative makes a positive, right? And what a lot of students do is they look at negative 2 minus 3 like so, and they think this is positive 5, but it's not. This one equals negative 5. And in case you're a bit confused about this, I'm going to bring up a number line. I'm just going to make some space here and bring it up the top. And if you remember, when you use the number line, you start with the first number, which is negative 2. And when you minus three or subtract three, it means go to the left, one, two, three, landing on negative five. So we see that negative two minus three is equal to negative five. It's only when the two minus signs are next to each other that they become a positive. And that concludes our video, just introducing the double negative and also introducing adding a negative.